Headline. You know my habitat. I throw bullets. Hassleback. 40. Ja Rule. I put it on him and give him a little more after that. Try me. Hello, 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 ladies and gents. Welcome back to the Speaking Our Language show. And today we have a special guest. This is not an interview. This is actually a collaborative uh, video with the Motown Maven. Introduce yourself, please. Like he said, it's Maven. I'm from the best city in the world. Um, I'm excited to be here. And we're about to get into some dope stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, I needed a Midwest counterpart for this video because today's video is top five Midwest versus Midwest battles. Uh, I have my own personal list. She has her own personal list. We're just going to chop it up and talk about some of our favorite Midwest versus Midwest battles. Also, uh, she has her own YouTube channel. She also does amazing content. She took a little bit of a hiatus because she has a outside stuff going on. Salute to her for that. Um, but make sure you guys check her out. I'll put a link in the description below for her video. And uh, yeah, man, let's get into let's get into the list. Uh, top five Midwest versus Midwest battles. Before we get into that, when you think of Midwest movement, what is the first thing you think of? A verb. I don't know why. I just mm. thought about a verb. <laughs> that was the first thing. Yeah, when I think of Midwest movement, I think of verb. Um, yeah. What, what do you think of? When I think of Midwest movement, I think of a slew of battlers that were taking over battle rap and, and forming it and making it their own. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like the first wave of battlers we get, because when I think of Midwest movement, I think of the wave after X Factor and Midwest Miles, because those are those two were the people that were kind of already intertwined with some of the New York battle rap crowd or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? And I know Big T's kind of in that mix too because Big T was on the first uh, URL card, or whatever, October 31st, 2009. He was on the first one against Deacon Frost. Um, but How do you know that date? Um, just because no, because they had a they had a thing for murder the murder mook and Tay Rock battle was on uh, on Halloween. They were talking about it was an anniversary type deal or whatever. Gotcha. They said it was eleven year, yeah, eleven year anniversary. So October thirty first is a, a major uh, like portion of like URL's battle rap history, and it was two thousand nine. Just because I remember like two thousand nine was like their startup year, and then two thousand ten was when they had their first uh, gnome. And, no, two thousand eleven was when they had their first gnome and summer madness and stuff. And two thousand ten was when they started doing like events like consistently um so but when i think of midwest movement i just think of a wave of battlers who were you know putting on uh, for the midwest whether that's chicago st louis detroit um you know what i'm saying like and then it opened up doors for even people outside of those major cities like yeah. um you know milwaukee you know what i'm saying uh or like cleveland you know cincinnati like stuff like that so you know without those guys kicking down the door we don't we don't get to see like someone like a vixen today who right. is like a mid pretty much a midwest legend as a woman you know what i'm saying i don't think we get a chance to see that you know without those guys kick, kicking down the door first but yeah that's what i think of when it comes to the midwest movement um but let's get into the list because that's what people are here for. They want to. They want to know. People battle rap loves critiquing. Battle rap love talking about stuff when they don't do their own stuff. So, what do you have at number five for Midwest versus Midwest battles? Okay, so for me, um, my number five is Ill Will versus B Magic. <laughs> So it ain't no rules tonight. I'm devoted to this. So if I get that reason to pull that tool tonight, he'll leave Earth when it fire. That's how I prove tonight. And I chose that one. Well, first, my criteria is impact, longevity, and performance, like a complete performance. Because I remember you were very 
particular about that and I feel like that's a very good critique mm -hmm. and I felt like um, this is a battle that I can rewatch and say be magic got it no ill will got it no be mm -hmm. magic got it though the impact isn't grand right I feel like it's a super dope battle for both MCs yeah yeah, yeah I picked that one for five yeah I got that on my list too so I won't go into that much detail but I, I agree yeah but yeah nah um Born Legacy Classic for sure uh, on the first ever Born Legacy uh you know Prime B Magic against a hungry ill will so very dope choice um at number five for me I have Clean Paper versus B Magic you know very very Hi. dope classic battle um PG Classic one of the more high profile PGs is just dope and like very nostalgic to see like Jazz, X Factor, Miles, a bunch of like people like just watching these like up and comers like try to make a name for themselves. Uh, Clean Paper with his like with Uber personality, B Magic with his every bar approach. Um, just very, very dope back and forth, very dope style clash. Um, and again, there was that first wave of PG people. So like they're kicking down the door for other newcomers to make a name for themselves. Cause before, you know, it was very hard to like, you know, just get on URL or whatever. Yeah. And then they made the PG process to where they make it a whole lot easier for people to make their name for themselves and, uh, you know, do that. But love that battle. Very, very nostalgic, uh, you know, classic battle in my opinion, classic PG battle, uh, probably top three PG battles of all time. So. Love that one. What you got at number four? I I wasn't texting. I, I had to look at my list. I should have wrote mine down. Uh, so my number four is Verb versus Miles. Mm. Um, I really, really like that battle. I think both battlers had a complete performance. Um, this was a very gritty battle. It was impactful. The main event of Midwest Massacre. Mm -hmm. uh, so I picked that one and I got that one locked in as my number four. What's, what's some of your favorite moments from that battle? Like I, initially, I think of like the uh, Jay Z is uh, you know scared of his age, but not me. I'd be embracing that forty. Like, it, like that I was did like prime. That, that yeah. was prime Aver. I felt it coming though, but that's just because I'm a super analytical person. I just right. I feel like the whole battle was just like. Just because you could feel the tension, you could feel like what the battle meant for them and what it meant for the Midwest. And I think they really put on for us to have more main events and more, yeah. you know. So just the whole battle, I think, was kind of just super fire. Yeah. What's your number four? Now, uh, number four is your number five. So that means we're not too far apart. I have Ill Will versus Be Magic kind of for the same reasons. Um, even though I kind of, the more I watch it, the more I still feel like Ill Will won the battle. Bar for bar wise, I feel like that's the that's the discussion we were just having about yeah. like bar for bar wise against like overall performance. Where I feel like bar for bar wise, you can argue that B Magic beat Ill Will, but I feel like Ill Will had bars, aggression, performance, moments, and all that. But it still made for an incredible battle and incredible replay value. Uh, like I said, Born Legacy Classic, Prime B Magic versus a hungry Ill Will coming off of the Tay Rock battle that didn't go his way. Um, you know, just the moments in that battle. And then, you know, when we say Midwest versus Midwest, I know a lot of people think of like early on, right? Where yeah. it's like they're both back, all of them are battling before they, you know, make that unison or whatever. But I just wanted to highlight that there is good Midwest versus Midwest battles even after the Midwest movement. Like these, the Midwest has always been filled with like a bunch of great like battlers who always put on great shows. Um, but yeah, number four, I have Ill Will versus B Magic, kind of, kind of for the same reasons that you do. Um, what do you have at number three? Number three, Smack, who is this nigga? You have to, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you have to put that one there. I have a uh, Cal versus Young Eel. Mm -hmm. um, just three rounds full of charisma from, from Eel. Three rounds full of dope delivery. Nice flows from Cal. Um, not too much tension as Miles versus Verve, though it, it was mm. something there, but I just, I just love everything about that battle. I just think those are three complete rounds of I can rewatch that any day, even though I have to go through every clip because you know it was when Smack was split yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, and, I and, and I'm about to say, and you love Calico, and that's Calico's like, like you know what I'm saying? His debut is a uh, coming out party, you know what I'm saying? And a fun fact, I think that was the, that, that Midwest card, that was the card where like a fight or shooting happened and he had to move to a different venue. I'm not sure if that, if like that was before, um, 
I'm not sure if that was before the uh, Young Ill and Calico battle and they were in a different venue or that was the initial venue that they were in. Then something happened and they moved the rest of the card because I know uh, Big T and uh, Big T and Hitman and Midwest Miles and Verb were in the same building, but that battle was in a whole nother um, building. Yeah. But very dope moment, um, you know, <laughs> classic moment, you know, Calico with the, I got people on, uh, what do you say? I got uh, people at every corner, like a stop sign. And I'm not lying. I'm trying to save you, get a doc's trying. But I got him in a family room with your moms and your pops crying. I dare a nigga try to stop mine. It's gonna be shots flying. Cause I got niggas posted on every corner like stop signs. And I'm not lying. Like you was you was wild in that battle. I too. swear you know every piece of battle rap history. Nah, I, not every piece. Not every piece. Well, I try to though. I do try. Um and number three, uh another it's funny that we have like a another battle from the mid like the midwest card as we call it yeah. i got hitman versus big t um i feel like this is to me this is one of the most underrated like battles in URL history um you know i feel like big t was crazy hitman was crazy good because i'm gonna let the 40 shake and turn smack dvd into channel a and e because i'm gonna shoot the first 48. <laughs> Another two hit. Bit of the lop out boo hit. I think fuck am I fighting for? I got that chill up boo. This was prime big T. This was hungry hitman. Hitman with the grab about a thighs then, put it under my chin, cut a look like I'm playing the violin, and then big T with the chillaka boo, like just amazing and just the yeah. di diversity of styles like this was hitman introducing like there was performance a little bit but hitman was like hacking out his bars more adding like a little element of like crazy build-ups you know what i'm saying with the cadence you got big t with the like rapid flow patterns and the lyrical pockets that he gets into like I don't know. I just feel like I, I put this at number three just because it's an amazing battle. And it also is a, a it, it encapsulates like all that the Midwest did for battle rap in terms of adding like a new flavor to battle rap. Because everything was so like, I wouldn't say everything was so samey, but a lot of like the New York battlers kind of had like that same mode of like how they rapped and how they put their bars together. And you have these two individuals who are like nothing like everybody else and yeah. doing something incredible and putting on an amazing battle to show for it. Um, but Hitman vs. Big T is my number three. And what do you have at number two? This means this is the runner up. It could have been number one, but you placed it at number two. I did. Um, for number two, I have Calico versus Hitman number two. And I had to pick this one for number two and not number one because I feel like if we were having this conversation in three years, maybe, but I don't think the longevity um, has been able to stand the test of time. Mm -hmm. But I think this was a super dope grudge match. Um, I love the energy. I love the bars, dope performance from both MCs. I, I felt the heat on Twitter was people like, mm -hmm. who won? Hitman, Calico. So mm -hmm. I love when a battle can give me a debate. But you don't know who won. You have mm. to keep watching it. Yeah. Um, so that's I went and got that motherfucking Benz right off the showroom floor. And now they got me battling a nigga that I used to have to wake up off a showroom floor. Or a check bigger, nigga. What, you hurt, slime? Did I catch you at your worst, slime? Hey, big girl. No, don't get quiet now. You should have shut the fuck up the first time. I have is my number two. Yeah, nah, like another major RBE battle. Um, you know, RBE's been giving us a slew of like big stage battles now um, with the Max Out stuff, you know what I'm saying? So very, very dope battle. Um, for a lot of people, that was like a a uh, a sign of like, who's the Midwest King or whatever. You know, the same thing with like uh, Calico versus Haver, like they felt like that was kind of like a little of a who's the Midwest King type of type of deal or whatever. But I do think it was a good battle. Um, and I can understand why it's at number two, because it did feel it did feel like a, a huge deal, especially after Hitman going against Cassidy. Yeah, um, it did feel like a huge deal for sure, it did. for sure. Um, at number two, I have 
Ilwo versus Calico. So another Calico battle. Really, really love this battle. Um, we spoke off air about it, but to me, like yeah. this battle is really good. One, because it gave me that old school feel of battle rap with like their entourage and then his entourage and then they're in like a, a parking garage and yeah. you don't know what could happen. Ow, he gets sliced. I'm Shinobi slicing in a Kobe fashion. Doctors come out to his mom's like, it's third and 20. You know he passing. Who's scared of, who, 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 who scared of Cal? Fans gonna always love me like my exes. He ain't get the message. I had to send more texts, you Pontiac ass nigga. Out, they put me with Chill the out, Corvettes. Man. Nigga, you nothing like the Corvettes. You nothing like Miles out. nor X. Y'all couldn't walk a mile with Marv Norquest. They actually had a scuffle in, in the middle of the battle. Um, a lot of aggression. Calico had his style, it will had his style. It was a Pontiac versus Detroit type deal. Um, so not only was that Midwest versus Midwest, but that was an interstate type battle. So, you know what I'm saying? That was crazy. Um, just really, really love the back and forth. And um, I feel like when you talk about some of the best RBE battles, like Ill Will vs. Calico will be the first ones to come up. We know a lot of people are like either like this league or like that league, but I feel like this is one of the battles that transcends leagues. And regardless of what people prefer, like everybody likes this battle. Yeah. Um, but I got Ill Will and Calico. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of sad that I didn't because I got caught up in, you know, the reaction to it but that's a crazy battle for sure before we get to number one we're gonna do our honorable mentions so watch this clip really quick like a mix with earl these shots flying everywhere get your girl hit the deck his cat still in the air this shit intro to a different world <laughs> Walk right up on this dancing ass nigga. Let that nine scream, watch him fall, then do my two step away from the crime scene. <laughs> All right, we get our honorable mentions. And now, what do you have at number one? I, well, Ian, I feel like this is pretty self explanatory, but I know you have a different one. Um, hey, yo, Big Gerald. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's my number one. I think um, a lot of people may feel like some of the rounds didn't live up to that moment's hype, but I think the longevity, the impact, um, Hitman's performance, I just think it was overall one of those. If I tell someone to look at a Midwest battle, I'm, I'm sending them that one mm. off top. Yeah. But that's mine. I, and honestly, that's a lot of, that's a lot of people's, um, that's a lot of people's, uh, Way of getting into battle rap. I remember Henny Man was talking about how like he was out of battle rap for a minute. And he yeah. seen a clip on um I forgot where he said he seen a clip. He seen a clip somewhere. I want to say it was World Star, maybe World Star was you know, crazy. Um he seen a clip in the set and the, <laughs> the clip was stepfather talks to son and calls out the real dad, which does not it's funny that they right. <laughs> it's funny that they clipped it like that, but even though that wasn't it, but you would think that the way that it was going and you would think that that was how it was but that's funny that's funny nah we actually do have the same number one because i have a verb and hitman holla at number one i feel like it's like one it's uh i want to say it's top i don't know if it's top five anymore but i'm i'm pretty sure it's top 10 most viewed url battle of all time um Probably the most viewed Midwest versus Midwest battle of all time. Absolutely. When you talk about Averb, you can't talk about Averb without that battle. And even with Hitman too, right? Um, classic battle in the Midwest. Uh, Young Hill was right there. You know, moment, like a huge moment or whatever. Uh, it spawned so many things, right? Like you look at Lux went on to make his third round off of the round that uh, Aver made for Hitman. Hitman introduced the first remix against Aver, whatever. Aver introduced the first Showtime against Hitman. Like, like Hitman said, he said, I did the first remix. Aver did the first Showtime. We hopped in the whip and left the venue together. Like, so impactful. Yeah, yeah, like, I just, I just, I feel like this is everything that Battle Rap is supposed to be emotional, personal, uh, passionate, you know, 
know, with the aggression, with the lyrics, with the real talk, with the, just everything. Like every element that you would want in there is there. Um, you want the performance, Hitman got it. If you want the angles, they both had it. If you want like someone who was more lyrical, Averb has it. Like it's yeah. just every element that you, it covered, checked all the boxes, checked all the boxes. Um, but yeah, I have Averb and Hitman Holla at number one as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I have a lot of fun going down memory lane and talking about all these battles just because, man, like I said, like Midwest versus Midwest, a lot of these Midwest battlers have done so much for the culture or whatever. Now, now people are talking about like L.A. is now like the new they like they're running battle rap right now, right? Right. which I which I 100 percent agree with or whatever. But before there was a, a, a West Coast movement, there was a Midwest movement. And Absolutely. I just wanted to highlight that. I had a question before we leave. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Which which battle did I mention? And you were like, either I forgot about that or wow, I wouldn't have put that as my top five for whatever reason. Well, our list was pretty much kind of the same really, except mm -hmm. for aside from two battles, but Yeah. I wanted to put Young Ill and Calico in there, but I felt like it was historical because of the who is this or whatever and it was also historical because it was calico's debut yeah um but I, but for some reason because i can see someone putting like like when i look at my list i can see someone saying that like they will put like young ill versus calico over a qp versus b magic over uh uh ill will versus b magic and stuff like that yeah. but while i feel like it's more of a historical battle i feel like QP versus B Magic did a lot more in terms of spawning a movement for the newer class. Ill Will versus B Magic, like that was one of those battles that like helped Born Legacy be a staple or whatever. Um, and while I do like the moment that Young Will was able to create, I feel like he pretty much handled Calico in that battle. Like I don't feel like that battle was close. I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm just keeping it honest. Like I feel like I feel like you can argue the second maybe. But I feel like Young Il took the first and Young Il took the third quite convincingly. But it was a young calico, so it's not like he, he loses it. Like he, it was a bad thing for him to, use, to lose to a young Il at that moment because it was like, it was a young calico. And you're going against a, a young Il who was already like one of those dudes or whatever. And on top of that, street status, got the whole St. Louis on his back. Him and Averb at the most part, for the most part. Um, so, but that's a battle I did think of, like, that could be yeah, on the list. Okay. Um, Hitman versus Calico, that was another battle I was like, could be on the list because of how huge it was. Like, we haven't gotten, we, we haven't really gotten that Midwest versus Midwest battle with that feel in a very long time. Last year, like, that was a huge moment. Um, I feel like it would have been, I feel like it would have helped if Hitman didn't battle Cassidy. But at the Before. same time, I feel like it did. I, but at the same time, I feel like it did because of the controversy of people saying he had a debatable with Cassidy. But I feel like Hitman and Calico, while it did have a good buildup, it would have had a stronger buildup if Hitman didn't already battle like a month or two prior to- On the battle. same league, probably. Right, right, exactly. So I feel like, you know, there's that. And I do think it's a good battle, but like, it was a rematch. Yeah, and I, I, don't, I don't know, but it was a good battle, and I feel like it did mean something to both people or whatever. Yeah, but um, when I just look at the other battles on this list, it's just like I feel like there's something like more that like like something more that it did for the culture, right? Like you even know, though it's an important know, battle. But I was I was debating between Ill Will and Cal, but like the general consensus kept saying, "Oh, it didn't live up to the hype," and I'm like, "Well, I do think that Hitman and Cal." gave us everything that we needed mm. so that was me listening to people saying what they thought yeah versus what i felt no i feel like i feel like people say that because they weren't expecting ill will and calico to be in like a, a parking garage like they were expecting that to be on a stage they were expecting like you know what i'm saying like a different type of battle you know what i'm saying which i don't know why because they th those two individuals shown that they had tensions towards each other so i don't know why they were expecting like some type of like theatric like battle or whatever like but I, I i guess but i mean all in all i i pretty much understood everything that you had on your list just because like each of them were 
very significant and monumental to like the advancement of battle rap. And I just tried to, and like, I tried to like do a mixture of personal favorites and like impact as well. Um, which is why I had like QP and uh, V Magic um, on my list or whatever. But Young Ill and Calico was uh, was was one of my honorable mentions. Um, a Verb and Marv One, you know what I'm saying, was a more honorable mention just because that's a grind time uh, classic. Marv One is a legend. I, I feel like people don't realize. How do like, we Marv have one. the same honorable mention? Yeah, like, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Marv One was like back then, like that early KOTD grind time, like he was that guy like he was very like he was one of the first like real dynamic people who infused like bars with jokes that street side with the uh comical side um and like you also gotta understand that like the way that he was was he brought a different type of like perspective from detroit you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people just think of rugged street dudes. You have this, you know, fluffy guy, you know what I'm saying? That's like street, but at the same time can joke on you. You know what I'm saying? Has a good sense of humor. But he using them clean jewels. If I'm lying, may God strike me down. All right, cool. <laughs> A fun time doing this uh there'll be a lot more collaborative works on the way with me and motown maven and me and a couple other people just because we want to you know create a format to where like all different types of outlets are you know there's a continuity between us and we're just doing stuff together because all of us love battle rap the same and all of us just want to create content for these battle rap streets so we thank you guys for watching um motown if you want to plug your show really quick and you know, what you do Absolutely, at the Motown Maven, and I also do Maven's Corner, which is a game show, and Lang is going to help me host it because I'm going to, like, kidnap him. But <laughs> um, that's really it. Uh, really looking forward to seeing how this video turns out and more collaborations. Yeah, yeah, I feel like people are going to enjoy this. Um, I feel like this is one of many collaborative efforts that we'll probably have, um, you know what I'm saying? And I'm... I'm extremely excited for what the direction of just media is going now because i know a lot of people have had like um <laughs> battle rappers and even other media have discrepancies of what battle rap media is supposed to look like what it's supposed to entail and uh you know i feel like you know as long as we're focused on the things that we're supposed to be focused on everything will be all right so but thank you guys for watching this was an episode of the speak our language uh rappers pentagon a special guest our first special guest um really appreciate you joining me appreciate that of course and make sure that y'all subscribe to m lang thank you thank you <laughs> all right we'll see you guys later thank you <laughs>